Hello beautiful people, my name is Brian and today I'll be showing you how I do my depth of field in my league edits, just because a lot of people are wondering. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. So I just recorded this like 10 minutes ago to show you how I do my depth of field. It's a pretty interesting way, not like the usual depth of field. Just before you guys were wondering, um, I only do my editing in After Effects, so this is an only After Effects only thing, I guess. I'm not sure if uh, Sony Vegas can do this too, but... Alright, so we're in the replay. Uh, let Creative Suite do its thing. Alright, so first of all we need to inject the DDL, where can I find it? Uh, uh Oh here it is. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we injected our DDL. Now that's created up the field. There's no need to turn this on or off in our case. Um before we do this though we, we have to set up our keyframes for the camera thingy, our camera movement. So what I did is I use uh the toggle camera mode. It's, it's optional, it's whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. But what I do is I press shift Q in my case, then move with the, the numpad to move the camera and shit, so I can do all kinds of funny movement. Uh, let me turn on the shadows, because it's annoying. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Alright, so how do I do my depth of field? Um, what I usually do is I just... Uh, where is it? Uh, depth of field here. Here we go. Is I just add fog instead of the actual depth of field, just because I don't like the the the, in, the build in depth of field. I like to have like control over my own depth of field. That's why I do it in After Effects. So what I did here is I turned the uh, turned the fog color to white. Uh, this is completely optional. These settings. I just try something. Oh, oh, whoops. Uh, all right, so. Let's just move around here and create a basic animation. Uh, here we go. It's a pretty basic animation. All right. Um, I can't move my leaf. Ah, whatever. I'll just put it here. Um, these settings doesn't really don't really matter. It's just whatever you prefer doing. All right. This looks alright. So what this what this is going to do when you record it is, it's just uh, it's going to be used as a depth map in After Effects and I'll show you that in a second because I already set it up and opened some stuff up from my last edit so that's the basic the only thing you have to do in uh, the creative suite is just inject the DDL enable depth of field here you don't don't have to turn this on you can you have to turn on fog put it to white and then just play with the settings you, you, you could do any type of fog it doesn't really matter the density I didn't really play with this too much I think it doesn't. I think it does matter though. But it doesn't really matter, I guess. But anyway, that's just how you set it up, basically. Nothing too spectacular, and it does work uh, with the um, the camera movement because I remember it glitching out with the the previous dot. All right, so let's uh, close up League and uh, open up After Effects. <laughs> All right, so here we are in uh, After Effects. Uh, I already imported two clips from my last edit. It's from uh, BCF. If you haven't seen it, I'll probably add like in uh, an annotation here. All right, so this is the, I think it's the first cinematic of the intro. I'm not sure. But what I do, usually do is I create three passes. I only imported two this time because the green screen is kind of useless for this tutorial. Alright, this is a pretty nice frame because you can see the rest of the map. Alright, so what I, what you do is when you have these passes is, I usually try to line them up. So what I do here is just check edges. Like for example, it's better to do it here because you can see the edges better. It's just to line them up, like, uh, uh, I need to zoom in a bit more, like that. So they're all lined up, and you can check by turning them off and on, as you can see they're lined up. 
after that what you do is uh, I'll go back to that nice frame we had earlier uh, here we go that frame what you do after that is I oh whoa I've never seen this before interesting all right I don't know I'll upload that later uh, is our pre cold pit uh, move everything to a new composition, call it Dolph or whatever sexy, sexy name you have. Uh, what I do after this is, since we're going to use the whites as a um, as a mat for the uh, a mat, a depth map for the depth of field, is we tint it so it's all black and white, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, add a levels so we could increase the contrast of the the dark, so we only have this white left because that's our goal. So you basically do just bring the blacks in. So if that's the right term, I'm not sure. Um, and you can just play with the grays because this is going to be like this the fade in of the, well, kind of the fade. So it's not like that abrupt. If you do this, it's going to look really weird. You can see like a little edge. I'll, I'll, I'll show you to see what I mean. Uh, new adjustment layer, depth of field. Uh, don't know. Okay, there you go. As you can see here, this edge is like way too abrupt, as you can see. So to prevent that, we just fix the level so it actually is spaced out. Uh, let me reset it for a second. So we did this. So we actually need some kind of gray to like fade it in. There we go. Uh, this won't work all the time because in league maps there's a lot of bright things sometimes, especially with the flames and the turret and, and stuff. I'm not sure if it's in the turret in this frame. No, it's not. But that's usually things that can like mess up your depth of field. It's not that big of a deal, but that can happen. All right, so this is what we did for our depth of field. So when we go back to our composition, you can see it's nicely blurred. It's not like the perfect method, but it, it works for me. That's why I do it this way. And yeah, that's basically it. Just create a suite with fog and uh, After Effects with a depth map for camera lens blur. That's it. Oh, I'll show you how I set it up first because I just dragged on my preset. Um, here we go. This is the basic camera lens blur. Just repeat edges so you don't get this, these weird edges because they're ugly, just whatever. And to use the Dolph, we just cre uh, we just select our layer, we just pre -call. And as you can see already, it, it's already blurred there. That's the white part, I mean. So you see the white part's blurred and the black's not blurred. Uh, and you just put some value here, whatever you want. Let's just do something crazy. I hope my After Effects didn't crash now. Oh god. Uh, well, well boys, I'm sorry. Uh, let me fix this before I fuck it up again. Well, there we go. You could do that if you want to. Or just put it at like a nice Sol 2.8 like I usually do. And you can mess with a lot of settings here. Because you can keyframe the, the blur focal distance. So instead of the whites, the blacks get blurred that, that kind of stuff so yeah that's how i uh, how i do my depth of field in after effects with fog and uh, camera lens blur so i hope this this helped you guys and yeah that's it boys